Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Borgon 111, and welcome back to Bug Fables. Last episode, I didn't have the best day. Today, hopefully, I'm ready for something better. Ah, uh, right, I want to be standing here. I went and looked at the stuff that happened in the last episode, and I think I know what I'm doing now, hopefully. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Um, it's actually the same day that I recorded the previous episode. Um, but I went for a sunrise morning walk and reviewed a little bit of the previous episode footage. And I think I understand kind of better what's going on now. Also, I am about to level up. And so I think I'm tempted to go ahead and fight the battles over here uh, just to get these enemies off the screen. Yeah, so I think let's do that. So basically, if I walk over here... Oh, there's only one left, so it actually did keep my progress in terms of this kind of stuff. Alright, but we can get this guy stunned, and I can go in with extra attacks. So, let's see. I guess Leaf can go ahead and break both of these guys. And now that they're broken, I think I want V in front. And V is going to can just tornado toss the first one. That'll do a ton of damage. And it'll also bring it down. And then I think even from the back. Oh, you have exhaustion going now, though. So then Kabu is going to go ahead and take out the front guy. Or do I want to have Kabu dash through? I'm about to level up. So I should just have Kabu dash through. This is what I should do. So let's do that. I decided what I'm going to do with my level up, too. I think at this point, metal points are going to help me the most. Uh, we will see exactly how shortly. Um, even with some exhaustion, Kabu could still do a little bit more damage, I think. So let's turn Relay to Kabu and just have him do a normal attack, which I think will do a tiny bit more damage. And that guy's never even going to hit me. Haha. -ha. Take that, turret. Alright, rank up. And we'll see what I'm going to do with my medals shortly. All right, let's grab some metal points. Oh, V learned Needle Toss. V learned to do skill. Got a hard seed. Carrying too many items. Oh, dear. Um, it's actually the hard seed that I don't want. I can just throw away a different hard seed. That's fine. Ah! And then I... <laughs> All right, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, so over here, I need to have V turn this crank, and then we can just jump across, and then we hit the switch, which does the thing over here, and then we wait for the numbing shock particles to go away, and then we go over here, and then after V turns this crank and spins it up, I'm going to have to switch twice to switch to leaf. Okay, that's what I needed to know. So let's get this going, keep it going as long as possible. And then after the next cycle, I'm gonna switch twice to Leaf, and then, crap. Ah, <laughs> I forgot to have him turn on the shield though. Okay, but I know what I'm doing. All right, spin up the door, come down here, give myself the best head start possible. Switch to Leaf. And have him use a shield. And the door is shutting, but I'm gonna get past it. Yay! Did the thing. And I'm gonna get a factory pass thingy. Factory pass! Great. Whoever lost this probably got fired, just like the previous one. I see. And I need to actually walk past over here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and so those enemies must be one-time enemies, the bees that we killed, uh, that just never respawn. Look at all those honey drops. I kind of want to eat them. 
I can just walk over here and then jump up here and don't need to worry about getting shot. Okay, so we got the factory pass. So that is one of the two rooms solved. Uh, when is this thing coming? There it is. Boing. And I still don't know why that turret's there. Like, I guess it's just another place to step off. Oh, and I've never gone that way, have I? I've never gone that way, actually. Let's ride this thing back around and see what happens if I exit to the left. Because that's a doorway that I had not noticed previously. And I presume I can just... I was incorrect. Okay. So I'd have to jump to get over there. Uh, factory pass is going to go in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, oh. It ate the factory pass. Hmm. That was weird. It ate the factory pass, but didn't do something. So maybe we also need to do the thing with Jen and Ari? That's possible. Um, we're all healed up, so we don't need to do that again. Uh, so Jen and Ari are over this way. Right. Okay. It's all gonna be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> so there is a way to go toward the front left of this room that I failed to do in the previous episode. And so that's what I need to do. Uh, in order to start, I do think we need to freeze some of these things. Uh, freeze them better. Is there a way for me? I think Kabu might be able to unfreeze it. I'm not sure if that actually did anything or not. And, okay, I can see the one in front now. I want to freeze it about this height. And then that one, freeze it that height, sure. That one, freeze it that height, sure. We can get over to Geninary. Hi, guys. Want to try again? Press enter to swap the platforms. Yes, great. Um, what happens if I go in this one? I have to jump onto the platforms. Got it. I think that one would just take me back, though. I think I want to start over here. And I want to start better. Okay. Right, and then whenever I press enter to talk to Jen and Ari to switch the platforms, it's going to make the shield go away. So I need to remember that as well. Okay, so from here, jump to here. And then I want to jump down and left again, is the thing that I missed last time. Okay, and so now if I talk to them, switch the platforms. Oh, this is going this way. There's another one that's going farther to the left. So let me try that one, I guess. Can I jump from here to there? Let's imagine that I can. Yes, just barely. Okay, switch the platforms. Okay. This is a little tedious. I could probably talk to them and switch the platforms without having a shield in between. Uh, but I'm nervous. Oh! It's another factory pass! Alright. So maybe I needed both of them? And is this just a free ticket back home? Well, I appreciate this for sure. Um... Genary, they'll figure it out. Okay, so now if I use the second factory pass inside this thing... Now maybe it'll open? Uh, it still did not. This is worrisome. Oh, two of three! I see the lights going up. So there must be something in that upstairs door. Got it. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and save our progress, just in case I do something ridiculous upstairs. But there was that upstairs left door that we didn't do, and it probably has a third factory pass that would get the third light on the doorway, and then we'd be able to go. Alright, feeling more confident. So go up here, switch to Leaf, jump onto this thing, do the bubble shield, and then actually jump off to the left at the end. And then we'll be in good shape. Right? Right. Uh, it's scary timing, though. 
I, it's hard to know when that thing is coming. Okay. So, I should just go ahead and unbubble shield. Um, once we get to the end of the cycle here. So it's shocking, shocking, shocking. It's no longer shocking. So unbubble shield and then jump. Okay, great. Okay, steps down. Um, baddies, who I could probably stun. I failed to stun. The Obama honey is gonna explode if we don't attack it soon. So V is going to use Tornado Toss. Um, let's have you go ahead and use one of your attacks now. Yeah. And then Kabu, I think, will dash through. Oh, can I hit the Obama honey in the floor? I cannot. That was foolish. I forgot about that. Um... I guess go after the Obama honey. Did I at least get it out of the floor? Sadly, no. But I did block. Oh, but I got shocked on the way back? Or the other guy shocked me, okay. So... Kabu could do his dash through now. All right. There we go. And now... It doesn't have any defense. Uh, and you shouldn't have exhaustion this time, so you should be able to damage it. There we go. Alright, so much numbing. This guy is currently flipped. So he has a ton of defense. But I think V in front can still deal one damage to him. However, you in the back I don't think will be able to deal any. And Kabu is stunned. So I don't think you can do anything here. I'll try. Yeah, that's zero damage. Alright, well you can finish him off now. Even like that. Alright. We won a battle. It's great. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Looks like V is gonna need to freeze some ice for some reason. And I do see that there's a turret up there. Uh, Kabu, if I push this around... I see. It pushes that thing down. Can my own weight do this? No. I need to get up there to freeze the second one, because if I refreeze from the same location, it will... Hmm. I might have put this one in the wrong location to start. So what if I move it over here? Is it going to raise that platform? It is not. And just to verify, if I refreeze another ice thing here, it's going to make that first ice go away, right? Yeah. Because that's the behavior, for whatever reason. So... How do I get to... I use this as a step. Got it. Alright. Tiny puzzle. Took me a minute to work it out. So then, over here, I can freeze a second piece of ice. And now I have two pieces of ice to work with. And so one of them can go onto this thing. And the other one, hopefully, can go onto this thing. Oops. There we go. And that causes that platform to go up. I need to be standing on that platform when it happens. No, it goes up and down. Got it. And I'm just going to assume I'm going to need Leaf again for some reason. 
Actually, let's have V in front because there's a turret I want to stun. Nice. All right, we got the jump on him. Let's have Leaf break. The turret. And then let's have you do a hurricane toss. Great. And... Uh, it only has one defense, so I believe Kabu can just finish this thing off. Oops, I forgot to hold down. Um... Leaf hasn't used an attack action yet, so I think Leaf's attack would also finish this thing off. I pressed the wrong button. Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh, v, you're exhausted, but you're in the front, so I think maybe you can finish this thing off. Yes, thank goodness. And I blocked too early. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. This one enemy is now not a problem. Ready to block. I blocked too early. Alright, Kabu, it's all you. Do the thing. And Leaf is awake. Great. Hit the right button this time. And that thing got tipped over, but Kabu can still go after it. Alright, I feel like these battles have all been pretty intense. I have been spending my TP pretty willy-nilly, uh, but we do have... Okay, I see the factory pass back there. So I could freeze another piece of ice, which will possibly turn off something now at this point. And Odin lock the door. Got it. Factory pass number three! We've done it. And so now, before I advance, I should probably heal. Um, so I can just drop down onto this floor over here, I believe. Yeah. So I can open the door with the third factory pass. There we go. And then let's heal up and save and then move forward. All right, things are going so much better today than they were previous episode. Have I come for healing? Yes, I have. Okay. Please come again. I would like to say it. Alright, and let's see what's through the door. There's some kind of vehicle. Oh dear. Multiple Obama honeys. And they're attacking... Some bee worker. I don't think that's the overseer, but I don't know if I know what the overseer looks like. I think I do. And that's not her. Away with you! Malby, hang in there! It's someone bee knows. We'll keep you safe. V, what are you doing here? Talk later. We're getting rid of these pests. Okay. Kabu can do the most damage with dash through. They're all on the ground. So let's have Kabu do a dash through to start. Do I have any buff items I want to use? Remind me what items I have. Anything that improves my attack output? I don't think so. It's all kind of restoration stuff. Okay. Dash through. Here we go. Fantastic. Now they've all gone downstairs, uh, so it's fortunate that my guy who can bring them back up <laughs> is the guy with extra turns. So there's one back up. And I think I'd prefer to have fewer Obama honey to deal with. Uh, if V were to use... Yeah, it has no defense. Would a Tornado Toss finish it? I think a Tornado Toss might finish it if I execute. 
Nice. All right, one Obama honey down. And then you can go ahead and get another one out of the ground, I believe. It did not get it out of the ground. But I did block. Uh, I failed to block that one, though. All right. Things could be worse. Um, this seems like a big battle. I'm going to dash through again. I built my party with lots of TP. And I did it for a reason. It's because I love all the skills. Let's use the skills to pay the bills. All right, you need to just attack this guy. Great. Another one bites the dust. And I think I could just do nothing, honestly. Because I don't even think the turn relay is going to get him out. Oh, I guess I'll turn relay to Leaf just in case he can get him out. I don't realize why. But he's stuck in the floor. Oh, it did! I blocked a little bit too early for that attack, apparently. Alright, Bakago can just finish this guy off. Multiple dash throughs, key to victory. And we get 18 XP, too. That's pretty good. Watch it, you almost splattered that honey on me. Ugh, I don't even get a thank you. You don't deserve it, V. We, um, are glad to see you're okay. V, who is this? This is Malby, the maintenance chief. That I am. Glad you still remember that. Who are these two with you? V's exploration team. At your service. So did you go and build up a team instead of doing your shift here, didn't you? Anything is better than here, but you never saw it coming either. I didn't. The V from back then wouldn't have managed. Right, V said she, like, quit her job when she left or whatever. Hey. Guess something changed, though. Seems I owe you in the end, so thanks. Who knows what could have happened. You're welcome. I'm glad we could be of help. By the way, Miss Malby, we're looking for the Overseer. Would you be able to help us? Oh, her? She's got to be trapped in storage. With security in place, the vent shut down, honey's heating up, those Obama honeys are popping up. She won't last long by herself. What do we do? The storage is locked. That's because the pump shut down. I was about to fix it when I got jumped. Can you fix it now? Yep, hang on tight for a few minutes. All right. I have a feeling a few minutes will pass by in mere seconds. Is it done? Yep, good as new. Processing's back to full power. Storage should be open too. Thank you. Now we just gotta walk back. Oh, you're gonna like this, Kabu. With the machines working again, you can catch the tram back. That's the vehicle we saw. Will it bring us back to the entrance? Yeah, saves a lot of time. And you get to see the whole factory from a whole new angle. That's fantastic. We do get a tour around after all. Thanks, Malby. We're gonna do our mission and stuff. Hmm, B? If you don't think you're cut for that exploration stuff, I'll actually rehire you here. I always use more folk pushing the boxes. Never! Let's go, team! <laughs> Alright. Um, if I... Uh, just ask for opinions about the room. Fascinating technology. Looks weird and ugly. What's appearance got to do with anything? Eh. Can't tell what these things are made out of. Like, there's some objects from, like, the real world. Yes, let's board the tram. Alright, it said I was going to see the factory from a whole new angle, but I didn't actually get to watch the factory. Um, also, I don't remember exactly where we are. Now I remember where we are. This is the place where I could take a free nap. Does it also have a save crystal? It does. Okay, I don't think I need the nap. Actually, no, that's not true. I want the nap. Uh, Kabu dashed through twice. I've got to be down on TP. So... And also, napping is fun. Come for a nap? Yes. Great. In trips and most RPGs always seem to have a rather long animation for whatever reason. Doesn't seem like it needs to be that long. 
Okay. But now we're all healed back up. And now the storage is open, and I think maybe that was over here. Those guys are still trying to rebuild the new key. Jen and Ari did make it out. Jen doesn't like honey much. Guess this lockdown isn't great for her. I'm glad we could help. If only we knew where the overseer was. Alright, is this the way to storage? Yes. Okay, so this is the next place we gotta go. I guess this is a mechanism? Elevator? Yeah. And Mothava and Zasp reportedly had headed into storage and got locked in here with the Overseer. So we may be running into them again. Looks like there's going to be another factory pass needed. Uh, is there anything hiding behind here? No. Okay. This is going to be weird, the way the camera works. Okay, it's showing me there's a switch there, but I'm farther back. Got it. Alright, I don't necessarily need to fight everybody at this point. That moves something upward. Let's imagine I will want that as a platform higher up at some point in the future. I'm gonna try to run past you. Okay, we get some transparency. Oh, there's a turret. I see it now. Ah, I didn't manage to... darn. Okay, good block. Good block. And not a good block. Okay, well I'm definitely gonna break the turret. So let's start with that. And I do like taking out the turret ASAP, especially because I'm gonna have the Obama honey that's just gonna start exploding. So, yeah, let's have the... Needs to do a hurricane toss, because even though it's been... Lowered its defense, it's for two turns, it only lowered its defense by one, so it still has one defense, right? Yeah, it shows up there. So I need to cut through the defense with the hurricane toss. And then... How many damage would you do? You wouldn't do any damage at this point. So I do need to have Kabu attack to take out the turret. So let's have Kabu take out the turret. And then I think you can do at least one damage still to this guy. I was wrong. And he's gone under. But now he's back up. Okay. Um... Let's have you do a tornado toss. Oh dear. I'm still gonna get a fair amount of damage though. Four damage is pretty good. Um, then I need you to get him out from under the floor. And then Kabu can attack. All right, we're going into a third round with the Obama honey. I'm not sure when it's going to explode which is apparently a thing it does over time. But it's not going to matter because V is just going to take it out. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. And I do see that there's going to be a Venus healing thing in here. And a way to bounce back up. So there's a way to fall down there and get healed. So look forward to that. Uh, I really can't see what's going on here. But we can walk around here. Is there a step up somewhere? There is. Great. Uh, is there a reason for me to be all the way down here? I don't think so. So I guess I'm going up here. And we can also try to look around and get perspective on different things. I don't know that there's a reason to be here. Okay, so Venus Healing is down there, but I don't need it right now. I've been in the back there. There's a crazy blue light over here, and this is the portion that I hadn't been into, as I recall. So let's fall down into here. Oh, and this... Wait a minute, is this the portion I had been in? This is the portion I had been in. So where did I want to go? I guess in the back of this area? Well, now that the turret's not here, I can walk about freely. 
So there's very little penalty. All right. Oh, right, and there was still that button. Also, have I been back here? Yes, I've been back there. It's back here I haven't been. So let's fall down here. Uh, there's a bouncy button. And it seems like walls everywhere, so... Oh! Shock Trooper Metal! The equipped ally receives no damage when paralyzed. That sounds like it could be good. How much does it cost? Eh, two. Wait a minute, three of eleven? I leveled up and got more metal points and forgot to actually equip more stuff. Right. Alright, I'm kind of a dummy in that regard. Um, let's equip this on Kabu. Well... No, let's equip it on... I don't know who to equip it on. Let's use HP plus, and then when I get some healing, that'll be good. And then... Crazy Prepared would actually be really good right now. Because there's a number of enemies who are surprising me and giving me first strike. Okay. So it was valuable to find that metal in order to remember that I had metal points to spend. Um, what am I looking at over here? Have I been here? There's a crystal berry up there. Okay. And I would have to lift this mechanism in order to walk over there, it seems like. And I don't know that I know how to do that. So there is one switch that we hit at some point. Am I back at the front of the room? Yeah, here's the switch. So maybe... Maybe it swapped two different thingies. Oops. Well... I don't have to worry about getting them having first attack, though, because I've got my metal that I equipped. Hooray. Okay. Uh, I am on hit points, so be careful. If... You... Break... This guy... And then you knock that guy out of the sky. And then Kabu dashes through. Then we will deal a lot of damage. All right. And right, you have one more turn. And the best thing for you to do would be what? Um, since I know there's healing nearby that I'm going to use shortly, let's go ahead and Frigid Coffin this guy. Right, I have to press all the buttons correctly. C. Left, Z, X. Ah, it didn't freeze him. Darn. And I failed the block. Darn. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's have Kabu dash through again. And actually, if I'm going to do that, if I put him in the front, I think he'll deal more damage. So, dash through. That's the last of my TP. But I think this is also like the last of the enemies in this area. So I'm not worried. All right. And I think you'll finish him off just with this. Yes. More exploration points. Take some berries, which I'm going to need. Is there anything hiding back here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so I'm going to go heal at the Venus Bud, which is the first thing right there. And then hopefully... Oh no, it moved this box too. Can I get around it? 
Um, it doesn't seem like I can. Okay, so that switch is not in the right... Hmm. Okay, so there's an actual puzzle here. Um, rats. Like, there's no way for me to jump up here, right? Yeah, there's no way for me to jump up here. Okay. So, the switch has to be in the... Hmm. But if I can only hit the switch... Hmm. Not immediately obvious. Oh, there's another way to walk here. Hold on. Okay, I don't know that I saw that before. I want to do the healing, definitely. So let's hit the switch so that we can go do the healing. But then maybe I need to hit the switch again and go the other way. Through that other path in the back right. Okay, so that thing's lifted up. I can come over here. I can get healed over here. Oh, and there's an exit over here, too. Have I come for healing? Yes. I bet you the exit is to move forward to the next place that I'm supposed to go to. Uh, but we saw that there was a crystal berry, and that's the thing I want to get. So I am going to go back here, now that we've been healed, and try to get the bonus crystal berry. And so I think what I need to do, maybe is hit the switch and then go this way and it gives me a way up hopefully maybe somehow oh that just brought me back out to here well i can save at least also we're gonna need another factory pass for a door there so that's my long-term goal to would appear um but i think i have to toggle the switch again in order to get anywhere Hmm. Oh, and that's what made the bridge over there. I'm going to try one more time to go toward the Crystal Berry. But... I feel like unless there's another switch that I haven't seen... We're not going to have luck doing this. Yeah, because this bridge is down, and so I needed that by toggling the switch. But I need to move this somehow. And that does not seem possible from here. Can I just jump up to this crystal berry? No. Is there by any chance... That was just where we got the metal. And this is just how we walk through. Okay, no ideas right now about how to get the crystal berry. So instead we'll just move forward and try to get the factory pass that we need in order to complete things. Uh, another save, sure. I do like to save. Very frequently. I see, he shoots honey. Got it? Gonna surprise you. Haha! -ha. Um, let's have you break the front guy. Oops. Break. Let's also have you break the back guy. All right, reducing defense. Then let's have you knock the front guy down. Then let's have Kabu dash through. Right, managed to do it. And then V can use her final attack to deal, I think, still one damage to this guy. Because V has some exhaustion and he still has one defense. Nice blocking. Hooray. Um, and now I think Kabu can finish this off, actually. Nice. All right. I think I'm finally getting good at these various enemy groups. Alright, what does this sign say? It reads... Upgrade tested. When the halt stops, it returns a bit behind its launch coordinates. Hawk says it's a malfunction, it's a feature. It returns a bit behind its coordinates. So, here's the halt feature. 
when it stops. Oh yeah, it does return a bit behind. <gasps> I don't think I ever noticed that. So it goes behind me. And so, for example... Well, okay. It's only if it's halting and I'm hitting something else. But I can hit something behind me like that. Okay. Got it. So... I want to do that here. Right. Got it. Okay, so... I'm going to need to ride this thing, I think. So... I leave it halted in the air. I climb up here. Also, there's a magic seed over there, which I very much want. Uh, can I get it now? Yes. Oh, I'm carrying too many items. Darn. I'll get rid of a hard seed. That's fine. Also, my 80 BP has presumably come back to me. Okay, so, once again. Leave it in the air. Come up here. And then let go. Alright, that kind of worked. I'm not exactly sure how. Because it also came back to me. But we'll take it. Alright, so that's an interesting feature of the boomerang. Is there nothing here? There's got to be something somewhere. Is it weird for there to be an empty room? Yes. Wait, what's this feeling? Uh-oh, something's gonna happen. Team, watch out above us. As if to be even more foreboding. Outside, it just started to thunder. <laughs> Alright, I wish it had been empty after all. Ready up, it's coming. Oh gosh, we're getting along. Um, I'm sure I can defeat this thing, no problem. Let's start with a spy, so that the game can tell me, perhaps, some effective strategies against whatever this awful... A honey nation? Okay. 40 hit points, no defense. This could get out of hand quickly. Best make use of our magic. I'm not all the way filled up, so I will be ready to use items for sure. Uh, but it doesn't have defense. So let's do this. Tornado Toss. That's some good damage. Um, I think I might as well Heavy Strike. Good damage. And then let's use an item that's going to heal and give us back some TP. Uh, honeyed Leaf, 5 HP and 5 TP. Um, that's more than we need right now. No one's down that much on hit points yet. Three TP. Yeah, let's do this one. Succulent cookies I will give to V because she's in the front. Okay, and we'll start getting TP. Oh my goodness, that's a big, big attack. All right. Um, V, why don't you do another tornado toss? Alright, so that's going to be my best attack for the moment. Um, Kabu... Yeah, do another heavy strike. Just trying to deal as much damage as fast as possible. And this time, let's eat a glazed honey. Which certainly I have one, right? Yes, okay, good. For just a bunch of TP. Okay, so now I've got plenty of TP. And it's getting ready to get super strong. No problem. 
I will tourney- I've never even tried Needle Toss. I'm not gonna try it in this boss battle, but I forgot that I learned that skill and then never use it. Okay. Dealing lots of damage. We've already got it halfway down. Um, yeah, I like what we're doing. Let's heavy strike. And... Kabu... Yeah, Kabu could take a... Honey Leaf. And that'll heal him and also give us some extra TP. And I blocked too early. And that guy hit hard. 777. Yikes. Alright. Uh, I didn't quite get that perfectly. Still dealt a bunch of damage, though. Heavy strike, sure. And at this point, I think I have enough TP to do this battle. So I almost am tempted to. Yeah, let's do this. Let's turn Relay to Kabu, and let's have him do a taunt, just to ensure that V is going to stay alive. Ah, I blocked too early. Alright, and V is still alive, and she can Tornado Toss. Alright, great. It all worked. We defeated the giant honey. Mothva and Zasp? That was intense. Whoa, are those? Don't say anything. What happened? We found this key card, and then... Don't say anything. This is so embarrassing. A disgrace. A thank you would be enough. Never. This never happened. <laughs> so I guess they got eaten by the Obama honey or whatever. Or a honey nation, whatever it was. What's her problem? Humbleness is hard to come by. Well, if she's gone, I guess I can thank you. We really owe you. Hmm, you're welcome. You must have been terrified. We were. We really thought that was it for us. Try not to bring it up, okay? Even Mothra can get very scared. And why shouldn't we? Take this. We got the factory pass! Hooray! I trust this makes us even? We were even from the start. Go, you wouldn't want to keep her waiting. See you upstairs, Team Snake Mouth. Okay, so we found Mothva and Zasp. What matters if we got the card? I'm sure we can save the Overseer with this. Be hard not to rub this in her face. Guess we're better than that, though. Let's go. Alright, good job, team. Um, that is a great place to save things, I believe. And I believe there was a save crystal in this room. So, with that, I will say I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I will see you again soon with more Bug Fables.